So I'm not going to say there's not a lot to do in Ohio because I'm sure there is. However, we haven't had the luxury of time. Um, we've had a crazy busy couple of weeks, so we haven't explored much. However, one thing that Rob from Our Life Whirlwind told us to do when we're in Ohio is try a Buckeye. And the camp host here at Ridge Ranch Campground has suggested a lovely local restaurant to try some local foods. So we are heading out to try this. It makes me wonder. little town we're in Garrettsville it's very nice here Garrettsville Ohio it is very nice here and so we're heading to Garrett's Mill and Brewing Company apparently there's great food and great drinks yes. and we're all up for that and local beers so we decided <laughs> to pick some local beers Lawrence is a little bit obsessed with his what did you get Lawrence brown eyed girl everything is made here at Garrett's Mill and Brewing and I had the I can't pronounce mine Edelweiss Huffenweiser. <laughs> Was that a good attempt? So look how good. proud you look. I love this chair, I love the beer, I love the scenery. I hope the food is really good. Yeah, me too, otherwise we might have to edit this video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Can I can, I eat? I can, you can eat. <laughs> I cannot say enough good things about this place so far. The food looks amazing. The beer, we had, uh, what was this one? The Brown Eyed Girl, and I've just ordered the River Wrap and uh, we've got the waterfall next to us, we've got the mill just down there. It's dead quiet. It's, at, uh, it's like four o'clock on a Friday. Yeah. Um, and the food looks amazing. So we're gonna eat, like, I can't recommend this enough. Come so here, far. Come in Garrettsville. Here. It's great. All right, let me show you around. So you can actually, in the outdoor seating area, if you get a chance and you come here, ask to be seated out back. It's a perfect time right now, perfect temperature. And then you can come down there's these steps down by the river and then just over here you can see the original mill which is very cool it's obviously not working I can see the stuff growing in there but you can tell where the water is diverted around from up over there and it comes along the side of the hill and you can see there's a gate here I guess if they open that gate it will then push the mill around and this is the mill that they used to make to make the beer and stuff and mash the grains or something like that so I can see it's not working but you can still see all the mechanism here that this you know that turns that that turns this cog I can't tell if I'm pointing in the right place but then that will turn this which then goes up and I can't see it goes into the building up there so very very cool I'd love to see that working but overall you can see the river comes all the way down really cool river goes all the way under here under the bridge and then we are sat just up here having our dinner we're on a journey looking back on the things that we've taken for granted but feels like we're learning to be better without what's been holding us back now So our search for uh, Buckeyes was absolutely useless. Ohio, you need to sort your life out because we could not find any Buckeyes anywhere in Ohio. So to make up for that, we've driven all the way to some friends, to Rob and Michelle, Our Life Whirlwind, um, because they are from Ohio and Rob is a big Buckeyes fan, which is college football and Michelle knows how to make Buckeyes. So we're not getting the branded ones, we're gonna make our own. What do we call it? The Brazen Wind Buckeyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to congratulate Rob on doing the washing up. Thank you, Rob. Um, <laughs> and before we get started, so, right, okay, oh, Michelle's getting going. Let's get going. Yeah, let's start. I mean, so we can throw, talk while you do this. Okay, so we throw, like, I don't even know how you do this. Apparently they're peanut butter and chocolate. Um, actually, did we go over that Buckeyes are just conkers in the UK, by the way? Who has eaten peanut butter already? Michelle has pulled out this extremely ancient looking mixer. 
<laughs> my grandma would be proud. <laughs> and it's still going. Oh yeah, it's the best. <laughs> I haven't done this in a long time. It's been years since we've done this. Scoopy, hang on. O H I O. How is it, Lawrence? Got uh, very <laughs> delicious. I could. It could. It. it it's going to grow on me. It is. Your waist. No. Suck my mouth. Yeah, it's like blue. It's like peanut butter. That's good. After the first one, you get over the sour bit. It's pretty good. So it took us about six seconds to do this. Not really. Real life, what, half an hour? Yeah, with freezing and everything. Yeah, with freezing. Very little effort. So Buckeyes are horse chestnut tree seeds, right? Yes. And so in the UK we'll call these conkers and there is an amazing uh, game that you play when you're kids with conkers. I will play that now. Would be Sue Martin is playing forward. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> so that's how we knew this and we didn't find out until very recently that Buckeyes and Conkers were the same thing. So this is very cool. So they look like Conkers, Buckeyes, they look like Buckeyes and now we're going to try them. So Natalie? Oh, me first, how exciting. Oh, that did, that froze really fast. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Mm. Oh, hang on. <laughs> really? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Natalie does not like. Wait, you don't like peanut butter. So are you saying they're nice because they've got peanut butter in, but they're okay, or are you saying they're actually nice? Yeah, they're not too peanut buttery, which is good. They're almost like my grandma used to make. <laughs> she did the full fat stuff with the real sugar and all that. Okay. Here it is. I'm gonna give it a go. Mmm. Soft on the inside, crunchy on the outside. Smooth on the inside, yeah. crunchy on the outside. Armadillos! Okay, so that's it, guys. Thank you to Michelle for making us some delicious Buckeyes. And thank you to Rob for washing up. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to eat the rest of these, so we will see you in South Carolina. See you next week. Bye. Making your own <laughs> Buckeyes is dead simple. We'll throw the ingredients up on the screen, we'll put them in the description, and we also have a blog post on our website. So the first thing you have to do is mix the peanut butter and butter together in a mixer. Add the brown sugar and vanilla extract and stir well. Keep mixing this in the mixer, but gradually add powdered sugar until it's completely combined and in a smooth texture. Scoop into tablespoon sized balls and roll with the palms of your hand until smooth and round like little golf balls. Place on wax paper lined cookie sheets and freeze for 15 to 20 minutes. Whilst the peanut butter balls are chilling, prepare your chocolate. You can choose whatever brand you want, we went for a dark chocolate, but check your instructions to see how long it takes to melt. Okay, here's the fun bit. Take the peanut butter balls out of the freezer, poke each of them with a toothpick, pick up each of them one by one and dip them in the chocolate. Not too much though, leave a little bit at the top so it looks like the white bit of the conker or the buckeye. Then you return them to your cookie sheet and remove the toothpicks. Use the pads of your fingers to smooth over the toothpick mark so you can't see it and then you're going to return it to the freezer. So once it's in the freezer it doesn't take long at all, again just a few minutes but that allows the chocolate to harden around the peanut butter balls. And that's it! It took us a grand total of about 30 minutes, including the freezer time, and these should last in your refrigerator for a, a good couple of days. Well, we hope you enjoyed this. We will see you next, next week. week. Really makes me wonder. Ah, that was too soon. I was too soon on the airing. Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>